Howdy gang, we are live again from Anchorage, Alaska on the early morning hours of um, September 15th, 2022. Um, yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. I've been, I was, uh, I was down for the count last week, pretty much uh, sick all week. I came down with a cold or something, and still getting over it, but uh, at least I have a voice now, I'm not coughing, coughing like crazy like it was last week. Um, anyway, here we are tonight, we're going to stream a game uh, that I bought about a month ago. This is Battle Chasers Night War, I don't know anything about it. I understand it's a... Uh, Comic book series or something? Anime? I have no idea. Looks like a pretty cool game is on sale, so I bought it. First time actually playing Years it. Years have passed since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. Interesting. Very interesting. I was just about to read all that to you, and thankfully the, the game decided to do it for me. <clears throat> Everyone hang on! What are you waiting for? Shoot back! With what? It's a stealth ship. This is stealth? Just do something. It's always on me, ain't it? These kids don't know how easy they've got it. We're being boarded! Cody, get below deck. You break easier than I do, remember? More incoming, port side. <clears throat> oh no! Gully, what? <laughs> Gully. I've got you. All right, Red. Looks like it's just me and, uh... uh Figures.
Okay. here Gully with uh looks like the Infinity Gauntlets. Okay, she got skills. Okay, that's what the X button is for. Briefly stun all nearby enemies. Gun carries over into combat, also breaks weak walls. Alright, so you can't do too much. And if this must be the tutorial I'm playing, or there is no tutorial. Is this going to be like a Diablo game? I have no idea. Buddy. Righto. You're all right. Yes. Are you feeling better? You've been resting for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Nolan. We fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica <coughs> appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt. Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Then we will meet Garrison. Like your typical... ARPG, action RPG. I'm thinking along the lines of, from what I've seen so far, um, Divinity, Original Sin, number one maybe. Number two, once more characters are added to the party. Yeah, I swear to you, I've never ever played this game before. This is my first time playing. I read some reviews. Reviews were good enough. That's all I know about it. Uh, we're literally learning as I go here, so. so I'm just looking at. Um, this little girl with the infinity gauntlets. Graphics are pretty cool. Now I have common parts. Next to these piles of uh, bones is a scrawled note. 
awoke in the night. Didn't realize what happened to Rachel until it was too late. The look in her eyes it was like she'd never seen me before. She gored me real good before I could react. It was ever since finding that mana in that crack in the ground. Shouldn't have taken her so close to it. Tired. Getting dark. Anna. Equip uh, this girl thing with um. Armor kind of looks the same. Jump. <clears throat> like Diablo, I can't re can't rotate the screen like you can in um, Divinity: Original Sin. One and two. Those games, yeah, you can uh, rotate the map at will. Gets, actually gets killed in this game. E? If they're telling us there anyway. Garrison went northeast looking for Monica and Nolan. It head that direction. Three just in case. Acknowledged. Alright.
Four letters on the top of the sign read Talon Crossing. Plank pointing east says High Lake Village with the message not anymore carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damage beyond readability. Okay. Battles here or deal. Going. There's our buddy. I'm glad you're all right. <clears throat> you know who he reminds me of? Uh, that's uh, sort of the uh, uh, berserk Japanese anime from like years ago. Um, kind of looks like him anyway. What you did during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I had no choice. No, I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't, and this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon, to the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica, too. You're probably right. Let's go find them. Wales of War, one of four. Wales of War, the general returns. A handwritten journal entry is scrawled on parchment. General Xavier returning from the main front last night because he came in the, the darkness. You got a good look at him. Other than to say he seemed well. The wars elsewhere have taken their toll on the outpost, with ranks thinning and our defensive practices becoming lax. I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night, but then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Xavier stalking the hall once again. Are lost. Go back and fight some of these monsters that aim is kind enough to show us where they are anyway. This one first. Battle! <laughs>
Bell Scouts Troop. Sell the stuff? I hope so. Pardon my silence, I'm just still kind of learning this. It'll go all the way around to get to those guys, I guess. This reminds me, uh, I'm gonna probably do a live stream of uh, that old game, uh, uh, <coughs> South Park, Stick of Truth, and I have played that one before, um, that's what this combat reminds me of. I don't know when I'm gonna do that one. Road sign leans precariously to one side, reading North, Arms Way, South Wilderness. Okay. Okay, so I guess we gotta go north. Of course, Arms Way. Looks like it has a bit of a learning curve. Be the village. 
see a few lights, but no people. Where are they? Let's <laughs> uh, bang on a few doors. Right in your town. Hungry? today. Aramis would be proud. Thank you, I... Wait, where are you going? I'm just stepping out for a minute. You get some rest. What about you? Don't you ever sleep? If I can help it. You don't need to worry, then, safe, as far as I can tell. Alabrano won't leave your side, isn't that right? Get some sleep, okay? Okay. <laughs> Green. Where are we? We in here in the town of Harm's Way. Don't worry, the name's more bark than bite. Really, what tavern is this? Just some bowel traveler. Not a cool name for a tavern. A drink friend. Items here. Oddly shaped hut is locked. Strange tinkering sounds can be heard within. <laughs> Flies off a hinge. What's the meaning of this? Oh my, a war golem. That is almost fascinating enough to warrant my time. Being fascinating is a requirement? Yes, now please stop knocking and go away. I expect you to buff out the damage of my beautiful antique entrance. Alright, this guy don't want to help us. Start greeting everybody I meet by saying that. Coins! Booty Blade. I have to have. That means.
<clears throat> My name's Raha. Beastmaster Raha. As I see it, the only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. And lucky you, this island is littered with them. So we've seen. Climbs and the bats in the woods around town? No, you're in for worse than that. You're looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Take this bestiary journal. Track the creatures you fought. You'll find doing so rewards you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Survive long enough and I'll point you towards more worthy tests. You may find it necessary when searching for your friends anyhow. Work will be brief. We'll make sure of it. And we'll be gone as quickly as we arrived. I've heard that before. Don't get killed, adventurers. Keep your eyes up. and proliferation of metalworking tools screwed about tells you this must be a smith's shop. Are you the town smith? Hey. Who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. <laughs> Being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, right. skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Sounds right enough. <clears throat> Though not quite pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the arse recently. Pain in the arse. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. Well that said, they're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained. More organized. As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Huh, <laughs> chat. A few weaklings came by, causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. Hello? Find the bandit messenger Grimbeard chased south. Yep. I'll see you later. Go so do this. Uh oh, that's a big ass spider.
close to leveling up here. That's another game I need to get back into. Is a game I have called Greedfall. Um, I haven't played that one in a while. Leveled up, unlock quick fist, quick fist. Does kind of make me want to read whatever comic book this is based off of. Everybody's talking like they have a prior history with each other, so. Lots of train her. Nature's boom. For the next three turns, any time an ally receives damage, they are healed for three health. Okay. Try that, shall we? Thirty-four damage to a turn. Oh 
I'll definitely kill it. Does health go back up? Fighters be taken out it's like one round. Big congestion, I guess. I was afraid I had pneumonia. My, my lungs were feeling all like heavy, wet, like I was breathing, trying to breathe underwater. And pretty sure it wasn't crazy, but I know me uh, having to deal with my customers and uh, working, hacking up a lung probably wouldn't. Be Probably would not have been a good look for me, so... Meaning to do another podcast too here, hope oh, probably tomorrow, tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, whatever. I don't know how busy I am. <clears throat> because as we can see from the news, a lot of stuff been going on lately. 
Um, another 9-11 anniversary. Uh, Lost the Queen of England. She passed away a few days ago. Everybody's up in arms about that. Half the world hated her guts. I had no idea. They blamed her for... Ah, what's it called? Colonization or whatever. But, you know... And that might, that might be a good topic to talk about. Well, I'll probably go over tomorrow. Um, as, as most people probably aren't aware of. Queen of England. Or the Crown of England. The monarchy, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they haven't had executive power for a very long time. The decades. So really, the Queen of England, the King Charles even right now, they don't have any real power in the government of the United Kingdom anymore. They, uh, the, the royal family has, um, they certainly have a lot of influence, but actual power, um, no. They have as, probably about as much like, executive power as, um, my former presidents have here in the U.S. So, blaming the royals for all this crap that people are coming up with, like, uh, colonizing Africa and India and Canada and all these places. It's kind of a moot point now. Almost like you're kicking them all down and everything, but I mean, not to discount the history of colonization throughout the world, because empires tend to do that. The American Empire is no different, but I mean, as far as the executive like power is concerned, um, the royal uh, family of Great Britain, United Kingdom, England, whatever you want to call them, largely, like, largely irrelevant right now. So it's kind of a moot point to go hating on them, really. I mean, you can hate on them all you want. I really don't care. Never, never really been much of a. Um, I never really cared much about the, the royal family. They, they're always in the news, but people like to talk about them for some reason. But um, I don't know. I just think it's a lot of. Hoopla, and then you got opportunists who just want to piss on her grave because she's dead now, and they feel like they can take out all their anger on her because she's not around anymore. Maybe they felt like she didn't do enough in her useless, irrelevant role as the queen, but I mean, hey, do you, I guess, whoever you are. What is this? Okay, a strange campsite just off the road. Let's investigate the camp now, shall we? Oh, it's a, it's a dungeon. Exploration area, here we go. Barricades in the middle of a forest. Someone is here. Yes, we should be with caution. See, right there, he looks like uh, the, the sword of the, the berserk guy from those... Those, those Japanese manga uh, comics, whatever you want to call them. Had that same kind of, the big ass uh, sword, I guess they call it a, um... What do they call that one in... Braveheart? They called it a... Not a halberd, what was it called? Uh, Oh, it's right there, and that's hit my brain. Um, oh, it'll be be bugging me all night if I don't think about um, if I don't remember it. It had a cool name too. Uh, so I'll have to Google it, I guess. This would be bugging me all night. It starts in F. Hmm. 
19 and gold. Yay! Plus 8 in gold. Camp. Looks like someone was here recently. That was certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off. Ambush. Damn you. Uh oh, here we are. Armor for the golem, right on. Letter he was carrying has a seal. Must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It's half smeared in blood. It does say outsiders, which must be us. Also references an outpost. The smith in town may know what that means. Why do I feel like this is gonna get complicated? Obviously. Or like that one gay guy. What was his name? Anton or something? He was that guy that was on the news about 10 years ago. He was, well, actually. And he said that. He was on the news and he goes, You're so. So. Uh, dumb. You're really dumb. How many of you all remember that guy? He was funny. Imagine that the messenger was not known for his subtlety. 10% chance on hit to make the target bleed. 17 piercing damage. Returned. I don't know if I want that one.
gun. Can't get that dude out of my head. That's some funny stuff. Leather vest. Oh, I saved my game. Gotta go back up and talk to that one dude uh, at the end. Game seemed particularly linear to some of you. A drink, friend. <clears throat> All right, kid, get to bed. I know, I know. We wake at dawn, train, blah, blah. No training tomorrow. Then, can I come with you? Patrolling or whatever? Oh. Please? I can help you and... You rest. You're tired and it's going to get us killed. <laughs> <coughs> but I'm not tired. I promise I'll try harder. Reto, make sure she stays put. His words may be harsh, but he cares for you a great deal. Yeah, well, sure doesn't feel that way. A drink, friend. Here. Have any use of this stuff aside from uh, um, crafting? And how do I craft? Half pint or full? If drink and friendly folk, that's what you'll find in here. A drink, friend. Come on in. Stay thirsty. <laughs> Yeah. 
he's the main character by the sound of it. So she should get it. There's work to do. <clears throat> we found the bandit you chased out of town. In his possession was a letter we were unable to fully decipher. Hey, let's have a look. And here's the bloody English letter. Fresh. Says something about an ancient weapon. Anything else? Outsiders arriving at the island. Likely to, uh, complicate things. Outsiders? Does that mean us? Well, it's hard to make out entirely. But it speaks of the Iron Oak Post. That can be sure. What's that? And where is it? Mightiest military fortification south of the snores. Long abandoned. But bandits have been going in and out a lot lately. Skies know why. Gate north of town is locked to keep people from wandering that way. Here's the key. Well, you oh, are ready to survive. But just in case. I've got a fine weapon or two for sale here that may come in handy if the talking turns to fighting. Some others around town have useful wares as well. You might ask around, see what you can find. If they answer your knocks, that is. Come on in! Uh, how much money do I have? Apparently not 500. Forty-one. Another one. Be there. Oh, look at this crafting. Okay. Come in handy. Interrupted my work. Goodbye. That was a dude. Hmm, I hear you're going beyond the North Gate. Maybe you aren't as boring as I thought. Take this flask. It will bring anyone who's fallen in battle right back up. They are limited, but should ensure you live long enough to pay me another visit. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. what it gave us. Foods recipes for a basic mana flask and a Very nice. <laughs> Booty blade. Eh, whatever this crap is, I don't have it. That 
purple number on the very top right corner of the screen. What is that? Read the manual here. I guess you that bring go. Yeah, next RPG I stream, live stream on will be um, Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm going through the tutorial in that game right now, but I already know how to play the game. I just wanted to play the tutorial on the extended edition of that game. Welcome. Bill Maher, talk less. I'll point you to the good fights Hello. when you're ready. Stay at the ready. Alright, I'm gonna save my game. Give me one. It only lets you save and quit, so I'm just gonna save and quit and come right back to it. I'm not sure if it's auto saving for me. I think it was, but I wanted to make sure. Get out of here. Oh, wait. North gate, right here? This lock gate might as well be a solid steel wall. Without the key, use a northern gate key. Okie dokie. I should probably, um, grind a bit. Fight a few of these. There we go. Let's try out our new weapons and armor. Before we venture out. Bridge gate appears locked from the other side. Visible through a crack in the wood is a large tent hiding among the thin trees. You hear faint sounds coming from that direction. Do it. Free time is a charm. The hell with you. One spider. <clears throat>
I'm not that much uh, gold, am I? Oh, here we go. Let's see here. Artifact Blade.
do exactly? Spawn of uh, treasure chest down here, is there? No, oh, why would there be? Anyway, dude. <clears throat> that was nice. Health comes back. Look at all that loot. An opposing door stands surrounded by moss and crescent ruins. A thundering swamp lies beyond. Approach the door. Southern Gate, Exploration Air.
All right, let's check it out, shall we? It is pretty big. What are they trying to keep out? Or in? Either way, I doubt we're getting it open. At least not yet. Yeah, you may be right. Eldritch Green, my favorite color. Is that the boss battle? It's gold. 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 I don't have much. All right. Never mind then. Did everything. Oh, it's that right there. Well handled. Want to know what's down in the well? I guess we'll find out, shall we? Oh, got to go through the gate. This gate's open. What the hell? No, it's not. Never mind. I can see it there. Oh my goodness. That's. Keep going, I guess. Oh, well, let's go back in here for now. What do you need? Rest. Hungry? Get any of these. Hello. Don't be a stranger. Let's go check it out, shall we? Boy. <laughs> 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 Give me a 
essentially feels like a mobile game you play on your smartphone or something. I don't play a whole lot of those. Ruins just off the road here. They look military. This must be one of the Iron Outpost's old way stations. Or, I mean, look military. This must be one of the Iron Outpost's old way stations. Outpost is nearby. We search it? Doesn't seem like the highest priority. Who's that guy? Let's check it out, shall we? Abandoned way station. Exploration area. It grins at you, Riley, appearing to wink with its one smoky eye. Thing looking at us? Only one eye? There is no obvious way to open it. Like some sort of riddle. Whatever the case, we can't open it now. We'll have to come back. Who's that guy over there? Go we'll ask him, shall we? Uh oh. You don't look so tough. Oh. Knockout gloves. Who should get those? People on this island are strangely cryptic. He was here looking for something. If we don't find Monica and Nolan soon, we're gonna get dragged into it. That does seem likely. Yeah, it does. Let's find them. <laughs> My shitty voice acting.
Look at those gloves, those fucking gloves. Stunning blow. Let's try those out, shall we? Fishing. Why do all these games have fishing now? Fishing is a fun, relaxing activity, and it can also bring its own special rewards. Make sure you have a good rod and lure equipped from the fishing section of your compendium. Walk up to the edge of the water and cast your line. Once you have a fish on your hook, pull your rod in the opposite direction. The fish is swimming in order to reel it in. Be careful not to pull in the wrong direction or your line may break. Gosh, it sounds so sick. Jub Jub, a unique fish said to be able to speak. Unfortunately, it died when you pulled it out of the water. Can't test the theory. Worth a few shadow coins of the fishmonger? Bubbles, a frightening vast abyss below the surface of the open ocean, caused this young shark to seek shallower water where you were waiting to catch her. Let's get out of here. Too exciting. Ooh, what's this? <clears throat> Moss-covered artifact shard. This piece of metal. Very strange. It's an artifact shard. It being here is a bad sign. Didn't Grimbeard say something about an artifact at the Iron Outpost? Yes. That's getting worse and worse. A bandit nearby. Is he looking for this? Probably. But it's useless outside of a collection now. I hope. Let's get back to the road.
get out of here. that guy Find out. common parts. Eight times coast iron ore. Go back and get healed up. Just to make sure. Actually... What'll it be? Read it before you uh, know, know anything about it, I guess. your enemies and whether you fight them.
Fight these guys now. <clears throat> Get him. Uh-oh. More coming.
a light on the loot. Look at that Bard Sale trilogy. I was getting like hundreds of 400 like gold coins, 800 gold coins. Go back, get some rest here. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. It's about three o'clock in the morning up here. I'm trying to call it a night. It's a great, great stopping point actually right here. A drink, friend. Yeah. yeah. Call it a call it quits here. Um, yeah, I must say I ended up enjoying this one. It's kind of a casual. Casual game, like a mobile, almost like a mobile game, like you're playing it on your, you can play it on your smartphone or your tablet, which I'm pretty sure there's versions of this on the, like Apple Store or Android Store or whatever for your smartphone or your tablet or whatnot. <clears throat> it just has that look and the feel and, you know, gameplay-wise, it plays like um, something you'd play on a tablet or a um, smartphone, <clears throat> but that doesn't make it any less fun. It's just um, you know, I feel that as far as the gameplay goes, I mean, I, I feel like I've played this this game before. I substitute the the plot, the story, the characters, the graphics, you know. Which I mean, in itself too, that's not a bad thing. It's just the, the type of genre that it is. RPGs are pretty, uh, pretty, they're not too complex or complicated as far as, um, how they're, how they're, uh, structured, but I do, I do enjoy this one, it's pretty enjoyable, I'm gonna, definitely gonna play it again, um, it, it hooked me, hooked me just enough to want to give it another go. Um, it starts off pretty easy, but like all good RPGs, uh, when you're first first starting out, it's like deceptive. Not all games are like that. Some some games are very punishing, very brutal, very direct. Um, I could think of quite a few of those right off the top of my head, like Elden Ring or any 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 Dark Souls game. But those are different types of RPGs. Um, action RPGs, in, they're still in the same genre, but. Uh, um, these types of turn-based ones are more traditional, but um, yeah, I'm I highly do recommend this if you've never played it before. It's kind of like a free uh, free demonstration of what the game is like. This one kind of slipped under my radar a while back. Um, I remember hearing the name, maybe in those old gaming magazines a while back, but I never really. It's kind of kind of got past me but um yeah I'm I'm satisfied that I bought it uh, now that I've played it I want to play it again and on that happy note I'm going to call it a night because as you can see by my save game up there it's at about 3 o'clock in the morning here I might have to work tomorrow I'm not sure I'm still waiting on my work schedule if nothing pops up tomorrow I'll just Take it easy. Yours truly is still under the weather a bit. Um, not really sick anymore, but I'm still feeling kind of like I want to do anything. I kind of want to lay down and rest, you know. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. I am a boomer after all. I turned 49 just about a couple months. November. But, uh, and yeah, I'm probably going to, I'm hoping to do a, a podcast here later on uh, today or later on tomorrow night or tonight got we're in a, on, it's like Thursday now but um, probably going over a few things um, I mean just kind of give a quick um, once over on a bunch of recent topics that came up I know I talked a bit about the Queen of England passing away and all all the queen hating that's currently going on right now um I had no love for, I had no no love for the queen myself but uh, you know it's I don't know it's just uh, kind of weird how people are acting about it right now not just 
people all over the world, but I mean, even people in England, I mean, English people, British people. It's, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that type of reaction, or I guess I just didn't realize that many people hated her guts, but I don't know, I'll talk about it later. I'm going to sign off here. Um, so I will see you on the flip side. But until then, I am out of here. Peace.